Hi, I'm Sheila Ward, and I'm here to talk to you about the next video for um, the first week of the ISTF workshop on getting funding for your chapter. This section is 1.5 on networking for your ISTF chapter. We are stronger together. You need to be connected to partner organizations and your in-country networks to be aware of the funding that may become available and to be positioned to apply for it. So an effective way to get funding then is to be doing this networking and partnering with similar organizations. And this will help you tap into that knowledge stream to see what's going on in the local funding landscape. So who can your chapter link with? What might be the players that you might interact with? Well, the first thing you want, so you wanna make this map of for your country or region of all the possible players your chapter can interact with, these partners or these potential networks to join. So these might include possible partner organizations, such as relevant government agencies like a forestry department at the national, regional, or local level. There might be nonprofit organizations or and the forestry sector, the environment sector, even in agriculture or health. And you might want to look at forestry and other professional associations for your region or your country, or even there might be a multi-country multi uh, professional association. There might also be organizations that work to influence policy and law for sustainability that you might consider interacting with or partnering with. They, there are probably also community organizations with intentions at least partly overlapping with your chapter. So that's looking for partners. Then there is looking for networks to participate in. There can be national or regional platforms, which are entities with participation from multiple organizations that you might want to come into partnership with. Okay, these could include things like, for example, in Ghana, there would be Forestry Watch Ghana. Then there can be forest restoration platforms like 20 by 20, which is in Latin America for, for establishing 20 million hectares of reforestation in 20 years, or AFRI 100 focused on reforestation for Africa. There might also be regional community networks that you can link into. So the thing to ask is, will these platforms permit other organizations, new ones to join? If so, you really should be partnering with them as soon as it's provident. So sometimes though, communicating with all these organizations can be a little bit scary. So I've just got this template email here that might help you with a way to approach people that you haven't talked to before. Or you could even use this as a way to approach a phone conversation. So you just might want to say the such and such dear so and so, the such and such chapter of the International Society of Tropical Foresters, you're either under development or you've already been instituted, um, is, um, is in that state. And ISTF, our parent organization, was established in 1950. You can, they can see the website. And our chapter is focused on, now this is where your sustainability uh, your um, strategic plan helps because you can say something about what your chapter is focused on in that strategic plan. Then you can say, we see that your organization or network promotes such and such, which aligns or and name what that thing is that aligns well with your chapter objectives. Then you would want to say, we want would like to explore partnering with you, collaborating with you, your organization or your network. And maybe we can talk about this more. Maybe we can meet in person, talk on the phone, you know, meet on an online platform, and then tell them how they can reach you. So this is just a, a draft of something that you might consider for how to communicate with somebody cold that you've not met before. So your assignment then for this section is to explore the partners and networks in your country and region. Okay. Get out there fish around on the internet, see what you can find. So give, then what we want you to do is give the website, the contact person, an email address of, 
three to five of these potential networks or partners that you will contact for participation. And you may not exactly, if you're a uh, chapter in development right now, make the contact, maybe you'll wait till after you have progressed to um, actually having your officers instituted, but make up an email using that template of what kind of message you would send to each of those organizations and give them to us so we can see that you're ready to go when, when the time is right. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching this webinar and or this, this little video and then contact tropicalforesters at gmail.com with any questions.